name is Kylie and welcome to my channel. So not long ago, I made a room makeover video where I transformed my room from this to this. While I really liked my clean desk area at that time, I wanted a little desk setup situation going on so I thought it was time to level this up and build my own setup. I wanted my setup to be minimal, practical and somewhat budget friendly. Initially, I only wanted to get an external monitor and a keyboard and a mouse but I kind of just fell into this rabbit hole of more desk setup items and here I am making a video of lots of desk setup items. So I hope you enjoy. As for the monitor, I picked out the HP M24F. I was looking for something that is cheap and nice and this monitor is exactly that. It looks so sleek with how thin the bezels are and the monitor itself is incredibly thin too. I also really like the silver stand and I think it looks so much better than the usual black stands. It only has a VGA and HDMI port so there isn't any built-in speaker or USB ports. It is a very basic monitor with display that is only up to 1080p so definitely not the best for creative and designing work but for usual productivity purposes, I think this is a really good deal for its price. Now that we have a monitor, I really wanted a monitor riser because my desk is quite small and why not? <laughs> I wanted to get something with wood tones to match the theme of my room. As you can tell, there are lots of wood textures. Then I remembered I have this IKEA book that's just lying around because I bought it for my room makeover but just didn't end up using it. So I thought I should turn it into a stand. And so I did. All I had to do was to find something to prop it up like that. So I dug out my 15 year old Jenga blocks, picked out a few and stuck them together with some double sided tape on each block. I also stuck some double sided tape on the bottom of the ledge so that the Jenga blocks could stick on it. Not the most secure but it works. And there we have it, a DIY monetarizer that looks so aesthetically pleasing. The back of the monitor stand can be opened for you to slot in the monitor cable and you can slide it back up and now the cable won't be dangling out from the back of the monitor. To power the whole setup, I have my 13-inch M1 MacBook Pro 2020. Here, I have a retractable laptop stand that can be adjusted to different heights to prop up the laptop when I want to use it as a second display. The M1 MacBook Pro only has USB-C ports, so to connect this to my monitor, I got this 10-in-1 USB-C hub from Ugreen. It comes with lots of different ports. It has the HDMI, VGA, and Ethernet on this side, three USB 3 ports here, and a port for your speakers, SD card and micro SD slots, and a USB-C for pass-through charging at the bottom. I also got a USB-C extension to extend the length of the cable because it was too short for me. I'm sticking this onto the back of my monitor using some velcro strips to keep it out of sight and I also connected the HDMI cable and my laptop charger onto the hub. So all I need to connect my MacBook to the monitor is a single cable from the USB-C hub and it will connect to the display and charge my MacBook at the same time. The next thing we have is an extremely cheap desk pad that I bought from Shopee. It is reversible with different colours on each side, very well made with knit stitching and it is definitely a bang for the buck. They come in different colours and sizes as well and I really can't recommend this enough if you're looking for something cheap to spice up your workspace. I also got another vertical laptop stand so I can put my laptop away if I prefer a single display on the monitor to keep my desk clean. Don't worry about the cables, we'll come back to this later. Surprise, surprise, here is my Logitech K380 keyboard that you have probably seen in every other setup video. <laughs> this is a Bluetooth keyboard, so it keeps your workspace free of cables which I love. It looks really cute, it's quite small and can be kept away easily, so I really get why this is such a popular option. The only other thing that I found to be slightly inconvenient is the caps lock button because it doesn't come with a little green light indicator like the one you have on the MacBook, so I wouldn't know if it's on or off, so it gave me a fair share of incorrect passwords but it's really not the greatest issue. Overall, I really love it for how it looks and also its portability. My mouse is also the Logitech Pebble. Bluetooth connected, small and cute. 
It is quite flat, so your palm wouldn't be actually resting on the mouth while you use it. It's not something that bothers me, but just something for you to consider if you're planning on getting this. I decided to splurge a little for the speakers, so I got myself the Marshall Emberton in the color cream. I absolutely love the color and I think this just fits the whole setup so nicely. It's extremely powerful, the sound quality is amazing, and the vocals just sound so crisp on the speaker. It doesn't have an auxiliary port and can only be connected by Bluetooth. The battery lasts forever anyway so it doesn't really matter to me. But this also means less cable so less mess. It also has a battery level indicator on the top which I find very useful. Next, I have my Basis Monitor Light Bar. Another great option for a small desk because it clips onto the top of the monitor and it is enough to light up my whole workspace. It has a nice matte finish on it and also a touch sensor so you can adjust between the three different lighting modes by touching the side of the bar and the brightness can also be adjusted to your preference. The desk setup is pretty much complete by now but I feel like we could do with a little more lights at the back so I bought myself a really cheap roll of USB LED lights and I stuck it onto the edge of the table behind and also under the monitor riser. I think it makes such a huge difference and the effect of having lights under the riser is just so cool. You should definitely try it out if you have a monitor riser. I also got myself a mini magnetic wireless charger from Basis. I opted for something cheaper because I'm just not too particular about it. I usually leave my little AirPods puppy on it while I work so my AirPods never run low on battery whenever I need to use them. It kind of feels like my AirPods run on unlimited battery because I never have to make an effort to plug in a cable to charge it. I know this sounds a bit silly but trust me, it makes a huge difference. Sometimes I also like to just clip it onto my phone while I get my work done. I bought a really cheap MagSafe phone case just for this and it works really well. When I'm done with my work, I can easily slide my keyboard and mouse under the riser and they fit perfectly under it. If I need to take my laptop with me, I can just unplug a single cable and I'm good to go. Now let's talk a bit about cable management. My desk is actually built into the wall, so managing my cables neatly will be quite tricky for me. This is how the cable situation looks like at the back of my monitor. It's not a lot of cables to begin with, I just took them away by the edge of the table and it's pretty much covered by the riser and the laptop stand. Then it goes through the side of my table and down to an extension cord. Of course, I can't have the whole extension showing, so I got a cable management box with a bamboo lid to hide this mess. I think it looks really cute and I love how it matches my room too. And there you have it! The final outcome of my desk setup makeover that I think is minimal, practical, and perfect for a smaller desk. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think of my desk setup on the comments down below. Also included all the product links in the description box so if you're interested in anything, make sure to check them out. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel because it really helped me with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so so much for watching my video and if you haven't watched the room makeover video then click here. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one and goodbye!